Cuba, a name that conjures up images of vintage cars, vibrant music, and a culture frozen in time. This Caribbean island nation, with its complex history and captivating charm, beckons travelers seeking a unique and unforgettable experience. But is traveling to Cuba in 2024 worth it? Let's dive in and find out. Cuba is a land of contrasts. You'll find crumbling colonial architecture juxtaposed with modern resorts. The rhythm of salsa music fills the air, while the scent of strong coffee and cigars lingers in its streets. This intriguing blend of old and new, grit and grace, is what makes Cuba so captivating. So, are you ready to explore this island nation and uncover its secrets? Let's embark on this journey together as we separate the hype from reality and answer the burning question. Is a trip to Cuba right for you? Buckle up, amigos. It's going to be a wild ride. Immersing in Cuban culture, festivals, and landmarks. Cuba is a country that pulsates with rhythm, color, and a zest for life. To truly experience its soul, immerse yourself in its vibrant culture through local festivals and iconic landmarks. For a taste of Cuba's musical heart, time your visit with the annual carnival in Santiago de Cuba, a riot of music, dance, and colorful costumes. Or head to Trinidad for the Festival de Musica Popular, where you can sway to the sounds of traditional Cuban music. No trip to Cuba is complete without a visit to Old Havana, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lose yourself in its maze of cobblestone streets lined with colonial-era buildings, vintage cars, and lively squares. For a glimpse into Cuba's literary legacy, visit Finca Villa, Ernest Hemingway's former home, now a museum. Or step back in time at the Museo de la Revolución, housed in what was once the presidential palace. Savoring Cuba, a culinary adventure awaits. Cuban cuisine is a delightful fusion of Spanish, African, and Caribbean influences, resulting in a symphony of flavors that will tantalize your taste buds. Don't be surprised if you find yourself craving the taste of ropa vieja, a slow-cooked shredded beef dish, or picadillo, a flavorful ground beef dish seasoned with olives and raisins. For a taste of the sea, try fresh-caught lobster grilled to perfection, or savor the catch of the day in a traditional Cuban Creole sauce. And no culinary adventure in Cuba is complete without indulging in a plate of moros y cristianos, black beans and rice cooked together, a staple of Cuban cuisine. Wash it all down with a refreshing glass of guarapo, sugarcane juice, or indulge in a classic Cuban cocktail like the mojito or daiquiri. And for a sweet treat, savor the creamy goodness of flan or the tropical flavors of a mango sorbet. Budget-friendly Cuba, making the most of your pesos. Contrary to popular belief, experiencing the magic of Cuba doesn't have to break the bank. With a little planning and resourcefulness, you can easily stretch your travel budget further and enjoy an unforgettable trip. When it comes to accommodation, Consider staying in Casas Particulares, privately owned guest houses that offer a more authentic and affordable alternative to hotels. You'll get to experience Cuban hospitality firsthand and gain insights from locals. For transportation, ditch the taxis and embrace the local way of life by hopping on a guagua, the local bus system. It's an inexpensive and efficient way to get around, and you'll get to rub shoulders with friendly locals. When hunger strikes, skip the fancy restaurants and head to local paladares, family-run eateries that serve up delicious home-cooked meals at budget-friendly prices. You'll be amazed by the flavor and generosity of these hidden culinary gems. Our memorable encounters, stories from the Cuban heart. Beyond the tourist facade, it's the people of Cuba that truly captured our hearts. Their warmth, resilience, and zest for life left an indelible mark on our souls. We encountered countless individuals who shared their stories, their struggles, and their dreams with open arms and infectious laughter. There was Maria, the owner of a charming Casa Particular in Trinidad, who welcomed us into her home with open arms and regaled us with tales of her family's history. And Miguel, a retired musician in Havana, who shared his passion for Cuban music with us, his eyes twinkling as he played his well-worn guitar. We met young artists in Havana, their faces lit with hope and determination as they showcased their vibrant artwork, and farmers in Vinales, their hands calloused but their spirits strong as they tended to their tobacco fields. These encounters, these glimpses into the heart and soul of Cuba, are what we'll cherish most from our journey. 
They reminded us of the power of human connection, the beauty of cultural exchange, and the importance of embracing the simple joys of life. Responsible tourism, respecting Cuba's soul. As travelers, we have a responsibility to tread lightly and respectfully in the places we visit, and Cuba is no exception. By practicing responsible tourism, we can help preserve the island's unique culture, protect its environment, and ensure that future generations can experience its magic. One way to make a positive impact is by supporting local businesses. Instead of staying in large chain hotels, choose to stay in Casas Particulares, where your money directly benefits Cuban families. When purchasing souvenirs, opt for handcrafted items made by local artisans rather than mass-produced goods. This not only supports the local economy, but also helps preserve traditional crafts. Be mindful of your environmental footprint, conserve water, reduce waste, and avoid single-use plastics. Respect the local culture by dressing modestly, especially when visiting religious sites. The verdict. Is Cuba right for you? So after this whirlwind tour of Cuba's pros and cons, you're probably wondering, is traveling to Cuba in 2024 worth it? The answer, like most things in life, is it depends. Cuba is not your typical Caribbean getaway. It's a destination that demands a sense of adventure, a willingness to embrace the unexpected, and an open mind. If you're seeking a luxurious, all-inclusive experience with all the bells and whistles, Cuba might not be the right fit. But if you're drawn to destinations with soul, where history whispers from every corner, where music and dance are ingrained in the culture, and where the people welcome you with open arms, then Cuba might just steal your heart. It's a place where you can step back in time, disconnect from the digital world, and reconnect with the simple joys of life. It's a place where you can savor authentic experiences, engage with locals, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Parting thoughts. Until next time, Cuba. As we bid farewell to this captivating island nation, we can't help but feel a tinge of sadness, a longing to return to its vibrant streets, its soulful music, and its warm, welcoming people. Cuba, with all its complexities and contradictions, has a way of getting under your skin, leaving an indelible mark on your soul. We'll forever cherish the memories we made, the stories we heard, and the connections we forged during our time in Cuba. It was a journey of discovery, not just of a place, but also of ourselves. So until next time, Cuba, may your music continue to move us, your spirit continue to inspire us, and your people continue to captivate us with their warmth and resilience. We'll be back, eager to once again lose ourselves in your intoxicating rhythm and embrace the magic that is uniquely yours. <laughs>